When you look at holders and their base price, meaning when people got in on average, you look at where we are now, we're at 38 bucks, you know, 38,000 bucks is what I should say. Um, what, what, what's, what's the basis for the average investor in Bitcoin right now? Yeah, so there's something called realized price, which basically looks at the last time that Bitcoin traded hands. You can calculate each individual Bitcoin, what was that price at, and you can kind of get to uh, a base holder price, uh, one way to do it. And what that's sitting at right now is around mid 20,000s. So most people are in profit. Uh, and what we're seeing is that actually the people who are not in profit tend to be the short-term holders. So the long-term holders continue to dollar cost average and hold an asset that they believe uh, is their reserve currency. It's the traders, it's the short-term holders, it's the kind of institutional traders uh, that they're the ones who end up, if they're selling or they're forced sellers, uh, they're selling at a loss. And I think right. that a lot of that's kind of behind us uh, what you see in the on-chain metrics. I, I know you're a bull, so tell us, what do you think the upside is at this point? Let's put it out in the next 12 months. What do you think the downside is though, in terms of range? Yeah, so from a price standpoint, nobody knows. Um, I think the bigger uh, question right now is just what is the United States going to do with Bitcoin? Uh, you start to see more and more politicians talking about it. And I think that one of the pieces that we have to start talking about is the United States needs to embrace Bitcoin. It's now a national security issue, right? On the off chance, 0.01% chance that the U.S. dollar ends up not being a global reserve currency used by every single country in the world, uh, the next best option is for the United States to be the biggest player, the largest holder of a decentralized digital currency that no one controls. And right now, the United States doesn't have uh, kind of a single strategy here. We now have about 30 percent of hash rate in the U.S., uh, but I think we need to get very serious about what is our Bitcoin strategy as a nation state? How are we going to be a leader here? Because ultimately, Bitcoin is an American technology from an ethos standpoint. It's about censorship resistance, it's about free speech, it's about self-sovereignty and individual rights. And I think that the U.S. should play a very, very big role in this going forward. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.